Hey everyone, it's Dr. Crank down here at Waco Animal Hospital. Just wanted to go over some benefits of dog microchipping with you today. All right, Dr. Crank, how can microchipping help my dog return to me? So as far as that goes, obviously it's going to be an identification source for them. And so it is something that you have your collars and tags, but it is a permanent ID, so no one can remove it. They can't slip out of it. Um, but it is something that they do have to be taken to a shelter or to a vet's office or someone that does have access to one of those microchip scanners. Um, but as soon as that microchip is scanned, um, that number will pop up and then whoever has scanned that is able to get in contact with the microchip company and indirectly get back to you as far as getting your contact info. So will a microchip tell me my dog's location? So it won't. Um, there's not a GPS microchip at this point. Um, so it is something that it's just going to give the number to whoever scans it. Um, they do make the GPS tags that can go on your collar um, of your dog and uh, they can be a little bit more as far as tracking them, but not just yet with those microchips. So do all shelters scan for microchips? So they should. Obviously, we don't know what all their policies are, but generally the first thing that we do when they found animal is to automatically scan them for a microchip um, and a lot of the shelters in the local area that's their policy as well uh, because it not only will help them know um, if the dog is owned but it'll hopefully also help reunite you um, with your dog yes so does a microchip ensure that my dog will be found so it doesn't ensure it um, it is something that just like with anything else kind of depends on the honesty of the finder if the finder decides that they want to keep your dog then that unfortunately is gonna deter things a little bit. But it is something that if you have someone that's an honest person that is wanting to help reunite the dog, um, then if you, they bring them into a shelter or a vet clinic, it can be easily scanned. And it is something that greatly increases your dog's chances of, of going home. Um, if a dog is lost and they have slipped their collar and they have no other form of ID, you're just relying upon social media or posters around the area to try and help get the word out there that your dog is missing. Um, and so it is something that the majority of the dogs that are microchipped, a lot of them do return home simply because of that form of ID. And it is also something that as some perks to microchipping, um, a lot of them will send out the lost and found flyers. Um, and they'll also send out emails to local veterinarians and even just local people in the area so they can be on the watch for your dog. Great. My last question is, my dog already has collars and tags. Why do they need a microchip? Because it is something that as simple as being able to remove this collar and tags and suddenly he's an unknown dog that no one has any idea who he is anymore. Um, but with the microchip, we can easily bring him in and we know that just by being able to scan this chip um, that is permanently right between his shoulder blades, he does have a permanent form of ID. So no matter if he slips his collar and tags or someone takes it off of him um, or if the number and things are out of date, we do know that that form of ID is always in him. All right. Thank you. Thank you.